If you're looking to take your content creation game to the next level, adding some specialized gear that lets you get more pro looking shots can help. That's where Joby Swing and Joby Spin come in. In this review, I'll try out each of these devices and show you how they work and what they can do. I'll talk about what else you will need to own or to purchase in order to use them correctly. I'll wrap things up with the pros and the cons and let you know if I think these are a good investment for you. Let's start with the Joby Spin. This is an electronic rotating mount for your smartphone. Think of it as a lazy Susan for your mobile device. It's designed to create smooth pan shots from side to side or for taking panoramas and time lapses and producing smooth B-roll footage. It can only pan, there's no tilt feature. You do need Joby's Motion app, and you are limited to using this with a smartphone since you need that app to pair with your phone's camera in order to tell it what the shot should look like. With a threaded mount, the Joby Spin is made to attach to a tripod or your Joby Gorillapod. You will also need a threaded smartphone mount of some kind, so I used my Spin with a couple different Joby smartphone mounts I have on hand. The Joby Spin here should really be called the Joby Pan or Joby Swivel since it's not going to spin around at any kind of speed. While there is actually some level of speed control, it really goes from slow to even slower, so adjust any expectations you have about it actually spinning like a top. To use the spin, you'll mount the device on your tripod or Gorillapod, then power it on. Open up the Joby Motion app and tap to connect. Once you're connected, you can choose three options for creating your footage. There's time lapse, video, and panorama. Choose what you want, then touch the screen with your finger to move the frame where you want it to begin. You'll tap to set the start point and then move the screen again and tap to set the stop point. Then you'll need to reposition the device back to the start point using the rewind arrow and hit go. The app will take your smartphone through that motion and then save the recording to your Photos app. You've got options for settings too. A button on the lower left of the app brings up a dial of options when you tap it. Choose between different front or rear cameras as well as the ability to adjust the zoom or set delays if you need to. I will say that at first glance, the app can seem a bit confusing and overwhelming. It's not exactly intuitive how to use the different features. I definitely recommend doing some experimentation first and watching a couple tutorial videos to get the hang of things. Once you understand what's going on, it becomes a lot easier to use. Now, Joby Spin is limited to a single axis depending on your mount's orientation, so it's easy to imagine the portrait or landscape video possibilities if you have any of Joby's flexible Gorillapod tripod products too. I used the spin to get some product shots and b-roll for some recent videos. I'll say for me, I found it only marginally effective because the device is really better suited, I think, to getting wider shots and landscapes. Maybe it's less so meant for detail video. Just remember to bring a power bank with you so you can recharge the Joby spin with the included USB-C cable since the battery life is only rated for about two and a half hours of continuous use. Now, I will definitely say that's not a lot, but it should be more more than enough for a single b-roll session or one video shoot. Joby Spin is impressively compact and very portable, allowing you to make those smooth and stable videos just about anywhere. If you want a little more oomph than simple panning will give you, you can opt for something like the Joby Swing here. If Joby Spin is for panning, the Joby Swing is for sliding and tracking. While Spin stays stationary, the scissor-like design of the Swing allows for more range of motion, and it basically crams the basic functionality of a camera dolly into a compact form. Joby Swing is shaped like a small remote control, and like Joby Spin, it has a threaded mount and relies on USB-C power for recharging. To properly use Joby Swing, you'll also need some type of tripod and a smartphone mount. Once you properly set up the swing, you'll need to use the same Joby Motion app for remotely controlling it. Now, rather than swiping to move the swing's viewfinder where you want it, you'll tap the on-screen plus and minus buttons to adjust it. Let's go over my experience using the Joby Swing. I tested the swing in a variety of B-roll shoots for recent YouTube videos I was making. First, I simply shot the Joby packaging, and it seemed to look okay. Next up, I got some more B-roll for another project and found a couple of things. For starters, the footage was kind of stuttering and jittery. You can see it here. During a couple of other shoots, the video did seem smoother, except at the beginning and end of the motion. There was often a bit of a jerk when it came to a stop or when it started moving. I couldn't really put my finger on what might be causing the jittery video. Sometimes it seemed like when the tripod was standing on its own, it was more prone to jarring, whereas when I held it steady with my hand, that actually seemed to help stabilize things. 
The other major issue I had is that when I tried to use a full range of motion on the swing, more often than not, it would pull the Gorilla Pod I was using it on over because of the weight and the change in weight distribution. Though I was using the swing with a heavier weight Gorilla Pod that's actually made for larger devices, the weight shifting was still enough to throw it off. That meant I had to use a substantially wider base and risk getting the legs into the shot in order to keep it stable or hold it constantly or use some type of weight or sandbag. Because of the diversity of motion of this device, setting up your shot does take a little bit longer. You kind of want the device to be centered over or in front of your subject to get smooth motion and to keep your focus center frame. Now, this is less a complaint about using the device and more just something to be aware of if you're new to components like this. For the most part, I'd say about 80% of the time I got really good footage from the Joby Swing, but you will have a bigger time investment using something like this. Overall, Joby Spin and Joby Swing are decent first forays into the art of motion video. While you could certainly pay a lot more for professional caliber gear that would give you better results. Most first time bloggers and content creators don't have that kind of budget. These devices are a nice way to bridge the gap between more professional shots and big budget productions while still keeping things simple. On the pro side, each of these devices does exactly what it says it will, and as we've covered, each one has its own unique movement. These are incredibly easy to set up, they connect with just a tap, and once you get the hang of it, the Joby app actually makes it easy to maneuver each of them. As far as extra camera gear goes, each one is small and very portable and would be easy to take along on any shoot. Downsides? Getting the hang of the Joby app does require spending some time with the devices and working to understand what you're doing. Once you get it clear though, the app is quite simple to operate and pretty uncomplicated. I will say using either option can be fiddly. You do need to take additional time to set up your shots and practice your moves and make any adjustments as necessary. I also found that the speed options really didn't bring a lot to the table. I found that one of my biggest issues was with the swing, occasionally motion would stutter which would become definitely noticeable in the final shots and more often than not if I didn't find a way to weigh down the tripod the motion of the swing stretching out would actually tip the whole rig right over. I think if you're looking for some easy to use and inexpensive camera gear to bring a little more to the table for your shoots, these are good options if you need something now. If you can wait though, I'm hopeful a second generation version of both swing and spin might add even more fluidity and versatility to the package. Prices for these devices will vary depending on if you get them bundled with tripods or phone mounts, but for the most part, Joby Spin sells for about $69 US or $130 Canadian, and the Swing sells for about $140 US or $170 Canadian. You can get them from Joby or find them on Amazon. And don't forget to check out my other reviews of cool Joby video gear, like the Wavo Air wireless mic kit, which I love right now.